Future Look CES 2012 coverage is brought to you by Cooler Master. Celebrating 20 years of innovation and excellence with visually striking products like the new Cooler Master Cosmos 2 Ultra Tower Chassis. Hi, I'm Stephen with FutureLux.com and we're at CES 2012 at the MSI booth. I'm with Alex Chang over here. He's the technical marketing guru and he's holding a massive video card in, your, in his hand here. What do you have there, Alex? Uh, this is the brand new MSI AMD Radeon HD7970. Uh, this card actually just launched today, which is January 9th, actually. And uh, it's a brand new, um, brand new 28 nanometer manufacturing process. Uh, it's got a lot, a whole lot of features, like you know, updated Ifinity and uh, brand new cooling solution. And uh, as you can see, the uh, card is a, uh, you know, very much an enthusiast stream. This is actually the fastest uh, single GPU graphics card in the world. And of course, this works with your Afterburner software. I believe you have a new version of that. Yes, actually, uh, Afterburner, um, the Beta 10 was launched today, and it does have overvoltage support of this uh, graphics card. And um, just as a uh, teaser for uh, users, uh, some of the overclockers that have been able to hack the uh, Afterburner software to, like you know, remove any bypass, any limits, they've been able to get over 1.2 gig. Uh, clock speed out of this uh, graphics card, which is actually very really impressive because the reference card is uh, only 925 megahertz. That's actually a very, very, uh, you know, a big jump in terms of performance. That's a good percentage increase in overclock. Yes. Now, as far as uh, availability and also pricing, what is MSI putting this out for? Um, this MSRP should be uh, $549.99 US in the, uh, you know, on e-tail and retail and whatnot. Uh, as far as the card is concerned, it will be available uh, starting today, but the uh, to be honest, it might be sold out by now. It's already been selling for a few hours, so it might will be sold out by now. Well, it's a pretty popular car based on the overclocking and everything. Now, speaking of overclocking, uh, you were telling me about some new software that you've just come out with, and it has some uh, connection with your smartphone. Let's have a look at that. Yes. Now, at Computex, we showed off a smartphone application for the uh, Afterburner software. Now, Alex has something new for your motherboard enthusiasts that like to overclock with their mobile phones. What do you have here? Yeah, actually, uh, for the longest time, we've had the control center uh, uh, tuning software that you can use on the desktop to adjust your motherboard settings on the fly. But um, with uh, CES this year, we're actually introduce introducing what's called Command Center. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually an app for the um, the uh, Apple uh, iOS. You can use it both on your iPhone, I iPod Touch, or even on an iPad. And uh, what it is is that it's got all the features that the control center would have, uh, but you can actually overclock it using your cell phone. So in other words, as an example, if you were running a full screen benchmark or some sort of game, and you wanted to see what the uh, real world gains are in terms of over overclocking your system, you can actually adjust settings on your phone and it will adjust the uh, overclock the motherboard uh, automatically you know, uh, when you apply the settings. Uh, it just needs to, the software and the um, app itself, it just needs to be run on two devices that are on the same wireless network, or same wired network, but in the case of the mobile device, it will be on a wireless network. Now the Afterburn software was actually available on the Android platform. Will this software also be available on the Android platform? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will be available first on iOS, uh, so Apple App Store will be first, and then Android Market will be later on, in, a, in you know, a few weeks after that. Well, that's great. Now, shortly before Compu uh, sorry, CES 2012, Computex is later, stay tuned for that <laughs> coverage, uh, we actually have a brand new motherboard to show off. Let's have a look at that, Alex. Okay. Now, some of you may be familiar with the Big Bang Power Series of boards. Uh, Computex, uh, they launched a bunch of new boards at that show, but now they've got the X79 platform to deal with, and they've got something up their sleeves here. It's called the... This is actually the uh, MSI... Big Bang X Power 2. Uh, for those of you familiar with the MSI line of motherboards, we actually had the X Power based on the previous X58 chipset. But with the launch of the X79 chipset, we uh, launched another flagship board. This is an extended ATX board. As you can see, the uh, board is an all black design, very aggressive in terms of look and the thermal design. A uh, few things to note. It's got a 22 phase power delivery system for the uh, hybrid uh, digital power delivery system for the CPU. Uh, just so you know how impressive this system is, it is this, this uh, power system delivers up to 750 watts to the CPU for maximum overclocking. Quad channel memory, eight DIMM slots. It's got two eight pin power connectors here for the CPU as I mentioned before. 
seven PCIe uh, uh, slots. Um, it, all of these are PCIe 3.0 compliant. No, these are all, these are 3.0 compliant, so you could actually do four-way uh, crossfire or four-way SLI if you want. And this is also very overclocking friendly. Um, there's a host of features on the side. All the buttons are on the side, but a few things to note. Uh, we have uh, PCIe ceasefire, which actually allows you to just turn off the individual PCIe lanes for overclocking purposes. Uh, you can have uh, just a base clock uh, with the, just a plus or minus button for fine tuning on the fly. We also have OC Genie, which is our you know proprietary overclocking, one touch overclocking solution. Also, Multi BIOS, which actually allows you to. Uh, this, the RX79 board actually has two built-in BIOSes, um, but there's a removable BIOS chip here that you can actually use if you wanted to. Uh, program your own BIOS for you know LN2 or any type, other type of exotic overclocking as well as our um, voltage checkpoints you know so that you can monitor system health and also a uh, additional six pin power for uh, additional you know power for the PCIe uh, devices and you know one of the most crazy X79 boards you ever see now I noticed the uh, gun theme over here. You got Gatlin gun over here, and you got you know some bullets here. Was there any influence from a certain company that's named after a measure of data measurement? <laughs> no, no. It's just uh, we wanted to go with uh, uh, the most you know, most aggressive look possible as far as the uh, the thermal solution was concerned. You know, so this was something that that we, we came up with. You know, it's kind of like uh, uh, wanted to make it uh, as 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 powerful and as robust as it can be. Now this is a very aggressive board. I'll give you that for sure. How aggressive will the price be when it hits the market? Um, I don't have a specific MSRP yet. Uh, it should be priced somewhere around 449 to 499. Uh, again, I don't have the specific price, but it should be available in uh, Etel uh, sometime around the third week of this month, maybe uh, before the end of January. But as far as the price is concerned, it should be under $500. It should be compared to some of the other uh, aggressive uh, um, uh, X79 boards in the market. It should be priced very competitive, if not better. Well, that's fantastic, Alex. Thank you so much for joining us here. And for more CES 2012 coverage, make sure you check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash futurelooks.com. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. We're going to be posting pictures, updates, you name it. It's going to be up there. So stick around for that. Signing off, Stephen with Future Looks. Take care.